All the gossip. gossip. The rumor report. Gossip. With Angela, Angela Yee. It's the rumor report. The Breakfast Club. Well, we told you about D.L. Hughley. He was performing in Nashville and he collapsed on stage. Later on, he revealed that he did have coronavirus. He got tested. Well, now his son, Kyle Hughley, has revealed that he also has tested positive for COVID-19. Listen to this. I regret to inform everybody that I have tested positive for COVID. I'm uh, asymptomatic so far, which is good. Um, so is my dad. You know, we're both asymptomatic. Uh, my mother tested twice, uh, both times came back negative, so that's good. All right, well, it makes sense. I mean, as you know, they were together, so... Of course. And he does work with him, so that's the the yeah. risk that's associated with that. Salute to the Hughley men. Uh, that sucks, but glad y'all brothers are asymptomatic and wishing y'all a speedy recovery. The yellow will be back on his feet soon. Yeah, and I wonder what you said. How long did he have it? Did he have it for seven days already or did he get it a day ago like how long you know i'm, I'm always curious to, that's what you know. I, that, that, that's what i was saying is just like what if you've had coronavirus for 12 days already do you still, right. still have to quarantine for another 14 and you only got a quarantine for two i don't know all i know is dl hughley will be back out there uh spreading the laughs and the information soon and we'd much rather that than him out here spreading coronavirus Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I don't think there's any way to know exactly when you got it either. And for some people, it lasts longer than others. Some people have it for like a couple of months, you know, so it's hard to say. All right, now uh, Eminem has brought Royce, Royce the Five Nine on, and he's going to be actually the Director of Community Engagement and Social Justice Initiatives for the Marshall Mathers Foundation. Eminem said, I'm super excited about not just donating money, but launching new initiatives. My goals are simple, providing uh, privilege for the underprivileged. And uh, Royce of 5'9 said, I'm honored to team up with Eminem to do so. Marshall Mathers Foundation. So that's dope. They're going to be reaching new goals together. They actually donated to uh, the Change for Change initiative that we do in the first year Mm -hmm. to the Justice Mm -hmm. League. How much did he donate? $250,000, right? Yeah, two hundred fifty. dollars Yep. dollars I thought it was two fifty. I thought it was a. I thought it was a hundred. No, no, no. It was a yeah, hundred. It was a hundred. Oh, it was. I think it was okay. 100. I, think it was 100. Yeah. I mean, we appreciate. Right. So, it. Yeah, <laughs> nice size. A hundred two. Nice sizable donation. <laughs> Absolutely. Mm-hmm. All right, Bill Cosby has been granted an appeal in his sex assault conviction, and so what that means is the court will look into Cosby challenging testimony from women who accused him of plying them with quaaludes before sexually assaulting them. Judges will determine whether the jury should have heard from the women, many of whom Bill Cosby said uh, it was more than 15 years ago. And the women's testimony wasn't the same as the sexual misconduct that he was convicted of and that he was never criminally charged in those instances. So the court has agreed that he can object to the county district attorneys going back on what he said, but which was a promise to Cosby that he wouldn't be prosecuted if he spoke truthfully in a deposition. If you remember, there was a deposition. It was supposed to be sealed. He spoke truthfully but they did reveal some of that. So now as he's serving this three to 10 year sentence, uh, he'll be able to have an appeal. I'm shocked Bill Cosby is still alive. I'm not going to lie to you. What do you mean? I, I, I didn't think, I didn't think he would, he would last in prison. I really didn't. I mean, he's, he's 80 something years old. He, he's legally blind. Like I didn't think he would last. I'm be honest with you. I'm shocked. I'm shocked. Well, Bill Cosby's spokesman said, as we have all stated, the false conviction of Bill Cosby is so much bigger than him. It's about the destruction of all black people and people of color in America. Hmm. Um, all right. Gonna, <laughs> I don't know about I that. Go, I, wouldn't, <laughs> I wouldn't go that far. Uh, but OK. Yeah, I don't know about that. Um, now, Bubba Wallace, we've been talking about this whole situation with a noose that was found in the garage at NASCAR, his garage. Well, according to the FBI, They are saying that that noose was present since 2019. They said no federal charges would be pursued. Nobody could have known Mr. Wallace would be assigned to garage number four last week. The FBI learned the garage number four, where it was was found, was assigned to Bubba Wallace last week. The noose found in that garage was in that garage as early as October 2019. So I saw a lot of people were calling him. Uh, But we're calling Bubba Wallace Bubba Smollett as far as referring to him as, as Jesse Smollett with the new situation. And here is what Bubba Wallace has to say about the FBI investigation. I've been racing all my life. I've, we've, we've raced out of hundreds of garages that uh, never had garage pools like that. So people that want to call it a garage pool and put out old videos and photos of, of, of knots being um, in, uh, in, in, in their, as their evidence, go ahead. But from the evidence that we have, 
it's a straight up noose. My thing is, how racist is NASCAR that nobody noticed the noose? Like, Ain't that like kind of weird? Yeah. It, how, is that the norm? how normal is it? How normal is the noose that it was up there so that long and crazy. nobody noticed? And whether whether or not it was targeted at Bubba, but that a noose is just decoration at NASCAR. I guess like right. you just you just just. Uh, this, like you just what you supposed to do when you get under the noose? You supposed to kiss? What you? Well, like, and there's the thing at Christmas. It's not a What's mistletoe, the thing at man. Mistletoe, no, mistletoe, it's not mistletoe. Is, 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 is a noose the NASCAR mistletoe? When when two races get up under that noose, they supposed to kiss? The hell? And people were trying to say it was a garage pull, and like Bubba Wallace just said, it's not a garage pull. Everybody's been calling it a noose. The FBI called it a noose. It is what it is. So whether it was in 2019 was or whenever, it was a noose. Even if it was a garage pool, why is the garage pool tied in the form of a noose? And why is that okay? That's how you know it ain't no black people at NASCAR. Because you're talking about people having blind spots. <laughs> people walk by that thing over and over and over again and never thought nothing of it. it take the black man to be like, hey, that's a noose. <laughs> that's crazy. It's, that's why diversity matters. All right. Well, I'm Angela Yee, and that is your rumor report.